Stacks back. School phase MTG. So I know everybody's raving over Luca right now. The whole Luca and agent combo. We've all seen it. It's old. I'm tired of seeing it, quite frankly. But I like Luca and I want to do something with Luca. So I brewed up the list with Luca and it doesn't have agent in it. Okay, so hear me out, hear me out. You know, you should like this because you probably are tired of seeing agent. I know it can't just be me. There, there has to be a lot of people out there tired of seeing agent. So this is Luca Bloom. This is a, a teamer build with Luca that uh, fetches up Nick's Bloom Ancient. And then it has um, a wish board because I'm using fair wishes to use all that mana that I'm getting from Nyx Bloom Ancient to fetch up spells and cast big spells from the sideboard. So it's kind of like a combination of, uh, it, it's like a, a different, it's a fires deck without fires of invention, um, basically. So um, let's get into the deck tech and then I'm gonna explain it along the way how the deck functions. So I have three Arboreal Grazer, Four fair wishes, three fibble dip the lost. Um, fibble dip belongs in this deck. He's not lost, so don't panic. Uh, three incubation druid, four paradise druid, three growth spiral, uh, four Luca, four Nyx Bloom ancient, four Veroci voracious hydra, uh, four hydra crisis, and then for the mana base, I got three island, two mountain, four forest, two steam vents, one temple of epiphany. Three Stomping Ground, one Temple of Abandon, two Breeding Pool, uh, one Temple of Mystery, and two of the uh, Teamer Triland, Ketria Triome, and fa uh, three Fable Passage. And then for the sideboard, which is which is my wish board, um, I got all kind of fun goodies in here. I got uh, one Simic Ascendancy, one Jace Wielder of Mystery, one Myth Mythos of Eluna, one Ral Storm Conduit, one Tamiyo Collector of Tales, one Nissa, uh, blah, 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 Nissa, <laughs> Nissa Who Shakes the World, uh, one Rao Is It Viceroy, one Chandra Awakened Inferno, one Sundering Stroke. I like this card. This card's been, it's been a lot of fun, um, especially if you get Rao out and then copy it. <laughs> it it's kind of like, it's just a wonky way to kill somebody and they're just kind of like, oh, okay. Um, one Plain Wide Celebration, one Electro Dominance, one finale of devastation. This is like the namesake card in the in the sideboard, the wish board here. So um, if you want to kill somebody fast and you just fetch this up and you go ahead and end the game. Um, one Night Leo's intervention because I got tired of going against flyer, flying decks. So this just wipes out all the flyers. Uh, one expansion explosion and one ma mass manipulation. Um, so how does deck functions? Let's get into that. Um, Every creature in this deck is a two drop, except for the Arboreal, Bra Arboreal Grazer. Um, so that means any creature that you put out besides the Grazer, when you when you get down Luca, you can just minus two on Luca, and you'll automatically fetch up uh, Nix Bloom, Nix Bloom Ancient. So with Nix Bloom out, all your mana is like crazy now. All you need is Fair Wishes, which you know you can get off of Luca's plus one. I just had to come back and do a quick edit. Because I realized that I probably was going to get this question. So I just want everybody to be clear on this. If you exile Fay of Wishes with Lucas plus one, you absolutely can cast her adventure side from exile. So everybody, I just want you to know that you can do it. It works. I've done it. All right, back to the deck tech. I have the Vor Voracious Hydra and Hydroid Crisis in here, which are also two drops. They're, they're two converted mana costs, but... With all that mana, you can pay the X and, you know, get big, huge Hydras out and, you know, fight stuff or draw cards if you need to. Um, and you can minus on them when they're out on the field and fetch up another Nyx Bloom or if you have to, whatever you need to do. Um, but they synergize with the deck real well because the CMC is to, no matter if it has a gazillion counters out on the field, you can always still use it to fetch up the Nyx Bloom Ancient. Um... Luca in this deck, I, he I feel like he's utilized to his full potential in this deck because you get to use his plus one. So his his plus one is is totally it's just all gas in this deck. So you don't really see his plus one use in decks out in the meta that use him because they're just going for the 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 cute little uh, let me cheat agent in the play and that's all they really use him for. But in this deck, 
um, you minus two on him and you get Nick's Bloom and then you can plus one on him and then you start getting all these two drops that you can cast. Um, casting the the uh, Hydras uh, from the Exile off of him is, is always great, especially Krasis because if you're running lone cards, then you can cast a big Krasis, draw you a bunch of cards, and then start bouncing Faye back to your hand to start fetching stuff from your sideboard. And it, it just is a multitude of things that you can do um as far as with the wishboard um i this was what i decided i wanted in my wishboard but it's totally open to, to be whatever you want to put in your wishboard as long as it's not creatures because Faye can't fetch up creatures um the deck synergizes well the ramp is good um luca usually drops on turn four all, always really if, unless you kind of get wonky or get shrewd um with your mana um but yeah he he can even come down turn three if you end up with a with the right setup with Grazer or and Paradise Druid or Growth Spiral getting you an extra land into play. So turn three, turn four, um, Luca's usually coming down, and then you just pop one of your your two drops that you got out and fetch fetch up a Nyx Bloom, and then that's when you get the party rolling. Um, this deck is really fun to play, um, but I will be honest that. If you decide to take it into competitive, you're going to probably run into an issue with against fires or against uh, any deck that's running uh, agent. So, and that's a lot of decks right now. So I feel like that that's really the only deterrent um, to keep this deck from being a, a really true competitive deck because nothing, nothing sucks more than, you know, getting your turn four Luka out, um, getting rid of your Fibble Thip and getting the Nyx Bloom into play and then you're good to go for the next turn, but if they cheat out an agent on their turn and steal your next boom, now it it just sucks. So I don't even have to elaborate on that. It, you know it sucks. Um, but the good part about it is if you get, once you get Luca out, if you fetch out Nick's bloom and it puts your opponent in a predicament to where um, a early game Luca fetching out a Nick's bloom on turn four, or turn five, um, it puts your opponent in a predicament to where they have to decide what they're going to remove because most of the time they won't be able to remove them both. So if they remove Nyx Bloom, then if you have another two drop in your hand, you you just drop the two drop and then you fetch up another Nyx Bloom and now you got mana open to actually use the Nyx Bloom versus getting the Nyx Bloom out on curve. Um, if they remove the Luka, which a lot of people will do because they, they're terrified of Luka and they probably think that you're running... Asian and treachery in your deck, so they they target Luca and they leave you the Nyx Bloom. If they need leave you the Nyx Bloom, then most of the time you can just end up just ending the game because um, Nyx Bloom is actually the bigger threat in this deck versus a Luca. If they get rid of the the, the Nyx Bloom, then you either fetch up another one or you plus on Luca, get your creatures in exile, get you some Hydras, get you it, it gets you gas. Um, if you get to his ultimate and you got a couple of big hydras out, then it's game over. Um, so, yeah, the deck is fun, um, but that's enough talking about it. So let's get into the gameplay. It's a little bit wonky. <clears throat> got a tap, tap green sword, so can't play Grazer on turn one, but it's not that big of a deal. Got to do what you got to do sometimes. Of course, of course I want that on top. Uh oh. Got some knights going on. Alright. Go ahead and get the grazer down and get the steam vents down. Now I can go uh I can go turn three fibble up here. And uh, have Fipple Thip up to tutor up Nyxborn. Oh, that's great. In case he kills kills that Fibble Thip. I don't know why people want to kill Fibble Thip all the time. He, uh, I'm going to block this. Entice me to use his mana. That means he's not advancing his board state. It's good for me. Yeah, I don't know why people want to kill Fibble Thip, though. Hey, so much hate. Probably because Fibble Thip is always access to something bad like this. <laughs> you see Fibble Thip, he means problems. He's trouble. 
All right, so now he's gotta he's gotta either deal with the the Nick's Bloom or the Luca. Can't deal with both. I don't I don't think he can anyway. Can waste a removal spell on Nick's Bloom and attack in the Luca. And that'll put Luca at, at two. All right. So he opts to remove the Nick's Bloom, which is fine. Just play Flipple Dip now and tutor up another Nick's Bloom, which I, I don't. I usually don't mind when people kill my Nick's Bloom after I tutor it up with Luca because if I have another two drop like I did now, I just tutor up another one. Then I still have mana left over to do stuff with. Him. All right, <clears throat> what do I want to do now? Um, let's go ahead and. I'm gonna wish for something. I just don't know what I want to wish for yet. Um, thinking here. Um, I think I. I don't know. Let me let me see here. I've changed the sideboard so much, like been tweaking it, just trying to put all kind of like fun stuff in it. So I really don't know what I want to search for right now. Um, maybe I just I just copy my Nyx Bloom and, and fight the night get him off the board so I don't have to eat damage from him pumping because I don't want to block with him pumping he's got death touch so all right let's fight him get him off the board all right I can cast the fade yeah I'm gonna cast the fade and uh I won't play the graves I'll keep the graves in my hand so I can have something to discard to get the fade back to my hand I got tons of mana now, so the game's the game is over next turn. Unless he uh he wipes my, my next blooms here. What you got man? The moth can't help you. The supersonic queen can't save you. <laughs> Alright, discard these two. Oh, go ahead, discard these. Tutor up, uh, I'm gonna just tutor up Devastation. Yeah, where is it at? Where is it? Devastation, Devastation. Oh, there we go. Wait, yeah, that's it. Alright, let's go ahead and put the Molly Wop on him now. What is this? Quick math, uh, 45 Yeah, 45 I think Dang it, I was one off Oh well Stacks, stacks messed up math Stacks the bad math <laughs> But 150 power from Nyx Blooms is great math <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is very, very pleasant hand. Alright. Wait, no, I don't want to do that. No, 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 I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to put that passage down. That's going to throw off my whole sequence in here. Uh, don't need that. Oh man, that sucks. Should have been playing Paradise Blue at this turn. They should have like some cancel function, or maybe they do, but I don't know about it. If you like accidentally pick up a card, a land, and don't want to play it. So once you like pick it up and move it up, it, it's going to play it. It won't let you put it back. So. My opponent punishing me with three damage now because. I made a bad play. I'm a whole turn behind now. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I didn't. I didn't pick up a fourth land. So, Nixos. Maybe he's a fan of Nix Boom. Let's find out. He's playing with a uh, Nixian card, so might be a fan. Well, I'll take three again. So 
Come on, man. What are you doing? Uh, then I get a, a tap land. All right. Um, yeah, I'll keep that there. I think I'm. I want to play my Lupus so bad. Why can't I play you? Why can't I play you now? All right. I, I think the play here is uh. Let me just double my counters on this since I can't fight it. So that way I can at least block it and kill it. Unless he gives it indestructible, which I don't care if he gives it indestructible because then that's. Again, using his mana, um, keeping him from advancing his board state. Alright. Next turn, get some Luka action going. Oh. Oh man, the Jolly Green Giant. I like that guy. Alright. My opponent's probably like, no, what is this? Agent? No, it's not you Agent. Will not see things my way. It's not Agent. Something much worse. <laughs> Depending on how you look at it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you holding party for? Oh. Oh, man. Main deck and main deck and sideboard cards. All right. <laughs> All right. What you got? Right. Oh, proliferating raptor. Oh man. Nick so ain't playing around. He got all the answers. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna protect my Luca. Uh, I might not get another land here. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know I was gonna get a land. All right, let me go ahead and get another leak leak bloom here. Can't even play the crisis, so I'll just play a uh, big guy here and uh, fight the giant. Let's get the giant out of here before he gets too big to control. Hi, Nixos. Don't 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 mess with my Nix Bloom, man. Leave him alone. Come on, man. Oh, man. He's just top decking all his, these sideboard cards, man. I hate when I see people run sideboard cards main deck. It's like, what if what if I didn't have enchantments? Then that, that card would be, like, so bad. <laughs> all right. Um, actually, don't, yeah, you can go ahead and kill Luka. I don't care. <laughs> Little does he know I have another one. I have another one. Alright. I'm gonna get an island here. Uh. Yeah, let me play Crisis. Crisis for. What is it here? For. Alright. All right, just gonna remain on defense now. I could be attacking, but I'm not trying to like kill him with just damage. That's boring. I want to do something cool. I don't want to be. I don't want to be winning with just like regular combat damage. Want to gain some life? I should gain some life. Won't be off my face, but 
the, with the Hydra that you're getting from life. Wonder what that one card is in his hand. Another enchantment removal? <laughs> Alright. Alright, I guess I'm gonna uh, find out. I'm gonna fetch up my my last Nyx Bloom here. Monsters, not monsters. All right. battle, one must be willing to adapt. I don't want to. I don't want to fetch up anything right now because I don't want to, like, make him scoop. <laughs> if I fetch up something crazy and he sees it, then he might scoop. So, I'm just, I'm just hold tight. Oh, man. He is not a fan of Nyx Bloom. Nyx, Nyxos is not a fan of Nyx Bloom. <laughs> Just uh, word to every word to the world. Nyxos does not like Nyx Bloom. You gonna you gonna attack my Luca? Surprised that the one card in your hand isn't a Planeswalker removal. <laughs> so how I many? I think that's what is that? Is that three? It wasn't, it wasn't four, it was three Nick's Booms he's killed now. Alright. Um. Guess I go ahead and take this. Untap so I can have maximum amount of mana to use for my last Nick's Boom now. Let's go ahead and tutor up something here. Oh man, what do you got? No. All right, let me let me let me go ahead and add my mana now. Then you know what? Um, I think I want to. I think I want to I I go for steel. Go for the steal on this, cause since he's blowing up all my stuff, I'm gonna steal all his stuff. Let's go ahead and go for the steal. All right, mass manipulation for four here. Right. Oh, oh wait, I I can't, I can't uh. I can't take Heliod. He's not a he's not a creature. Alright, so it's gotta be for three. Alright, alright. Sorry, 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 rope, sorry. Alright, go ahead and play this. And uh get it back to my hand next turn. Go ahead and play this so I can get some gas off this plus one. Uh, play Paradise Druid. And uh, I'll be done now. Yeah! I like the way the board looks now. It's very, very attractive. <laughs> I don't think Nixos likes it, but I like it. Alright. Um, you know what? I want my uh, I want my Nyx Bloom back. So let me go ahead and let me plus one first. If I can't All use right. it as a weapon, let me go ahead and tutor up Tamio. Man, I love building decks that have so many options. It's so fun to play. Bloom back. So much Nyx Bloom hate. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that, huh? Like, damn! He's got his Nyx Bloom back! You swing in with these two. Make your guys attack attack your attack you. Your own guys are attacking you. They, they're traitors. Traitors! Kylo Ren! Traitors! Oh, 
Alright. What do I want to do now? Uh. Alright. I want to make this. I want to make this spicy for you guys. So. Let me. I'm going to tutor up. No! Lamp shade. Lamp shade. 84. The year I was born. 1984. Two grazers. The only one drops in the deck. Down. All right. The severe card disadvantage of Grazer with superior ramp. All right. Fibble fib. Draw something good, please. All right. That's not. It's not horrible. Still need another land for Luca. Oh, that yeah, has to die. Need a land. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and fetch up an island. I like to I like to keep three islands in case I uh, need to uh, in case I need to go to mass manipulation. Uh, yeah. All right. Hydras be putting in work. Oh, another fix them things, huh? Oh, dip. Scared away, dip. All right, that's your one. Man, Fibble Dip, he likes me today. Uh, no, it's not worth playing at. I need to, I need to be trying to, I need to find a Luca. So yeah, let me go ahead and play this. Man. Uh, all right, go. At least if he attacks with his vampire, Dip can, uh, oh no, Dip can't. <laughs> Man, he keeps, keeps running, running Fibble Dip away. I'm gonna block now. I don't want to eat too much damage. I'm not drawing too good right now. Man! Fibble Dip! <laughs> Fibble Dip's on a, on a mission today. Now I need a Luca. Get that Luca. Oh. Chapter Man and wrong there. Now you can't play it. Messed up. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill your vampire. Alright, let's go, Luca. No. Luca doesn't want to show up. Alright. Uh let me just go crisis four. Still no Luca. Luca's somewhere somewhere uh playing with agent. <laughs> he doesn't want to play with Nick's boom right now. Oh, what's that? You made it. Need to discard a car, huh? Alright. Like it. Gonna attack? Why wouldn't you? Might be scared I have a giant growth. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not in standard right now. Uh. Yeah, I'll keep that grazer in my hand to discard. I'm sure that's I'm sure that's what he's gonna go for with the guild mage is discard, so And Fibble Pip. 
so many times in this game, but no Luka. Alright, he attacks with the vampire. I'll double block. Kill it. Kill it. Kill him. Do it. Palpatine mode here. Uh, yeah. Uh, discard the, uh... I, I would like to keep the grazer, but I'm gonna discard it. I, I, you know, it blocks flying, so it definitely has some value in, in this matchup, but it's also the least valuable. <laughs> Alright, uh, I think I just go ahead and play a Nyx Bloom natural. What do you need, Luca, now? Alright, go ahead and play Dip. Draw me a cat. Oh! Luca! Where you been, buddy? You're late to the party. You've been somewhere hiding out with Agent, huh? I know how it is. Yeah. Yeah, what, what is. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? Where are you getting back? Oh, alright, we ain't worried about that. <laughs> you want me to discard a card? I'll discard a card. You don't have to activate your ability. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Alright. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Alright. Uh, I, don't, I don't want that on top. I already got one in my hand. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get another, get another Nyx Bloom. Yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm gonna add blue. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get explosion. From the side. Monsters are recording as great burns, and I have death. We can all become go ahead stronger. And, uh, two rough explosion. Just gonna go damage to its face. So, uh, it doesn't even matter. Let me just, I'll just put it in. 21, 21 to the face. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right, better. Wait, no, Gazi. Been Gazi. Gazi man. Ozzy. Hey, do I have, do I have any Australian watches? What does what does what does Ozzy mean? What is an Ozzy? I've always wondered that. Heard that term from time to time. What does that mean, Ozzy? Somebody somebody comment in the comment section. And let me know. All right, go ahead and put one of the crazes back. You got Gazi. Pro uh, spiral. Got the stomping ground. All right, let's go, Gazi. Uh oh, I'm actually playing some easy. Pull some. Draw, draw your second card triggers. It's cute. Way to fetch up an island here. Dip, my buddy, my buddy old pal. Oh, Luca, right on time today. Right on time, buddy. So nice of you to join us. Gazi's uh gonna remove my remove my dip. Quest of mystery. I like the Royal Scions. Alright, but I like Luca better though. Get some mixed boom. I will change the world with Yeah, we're changing the world. Me and you and Nick's Bloom. 
war surround me. The trio of devastation buddies. And Gazi's looking like, man, what's going on? What is this deck? Never seen this before. What is this? Nick's blue. It's not agent. Probably he probably could just like deal three damage to an agent right now and kill it and get it off the board. <laughs> Next boom, not too much. My plan is crystallizing. Yeah, my plan's crystallizing too. Me and Nick's bloom, we got a plan. Oh man, I'm just getting like the perfect draws now. All right. Go ahead and uh, I want to use Krasis here and draw some more cards, fill my hand back up. So Krasis for 10. <clears throat> I could have just went out for the devastation, but I want to make this cool. All right, let me uh, plus on Luca. Gas. Titans obey my commands. All right, I'm gonna have this uh fight the fairy dude up there so he doesn't attack Luca. All right, he can swing with his one ones if he wants. That's fine. All right, let me go ahead and uh. Get the Royal Scions down some. I don't want them getting too close to the ultimate. That could potentially lead to him drawing cards that could turn the game. Cover my back, Roman! Gazi! Please don't concede, man. Stick it out. Be a tough guy. Tough it out, man. It's inevitable. It's about to happen, but you can at least tough it out. Oh, he's gonna get he's gonna get two fairies now. Man, he, he said these fairies are going into a, a suicide mission because they're gonna get just trampled over. <laughs> they're doomed and they don't even know it. Alright, uh Go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get another Nick's boom. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for big damage. I want big damage. Big damage. Big. All right, let's go ahead and fetch up devastation. Go ahead and get this over with before he concedes. I be wanting to do something really, really cool, but people concede, so I don't want to take, I don't want to dirtle too much. Let's go 50. Don't concede, don't concede, don't, don't, don't concede. Mix Bloom. Swinging in. That's how you do it. Oh, don't tell me he's about to concede. Well, I just want to say, if you play this deck, make sure you get a Devastation off for at least 40. At least 40. 40 is a good round number. Don't be doing no, no 10, no 15, 20. Do 40 at least. I think I might do another video and try to, try to do one for 100. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> and there you have it Luca Bloom I hope you enjoyed it as always and anybody who plays this deck I have a, I have a personal challenge for anybody who plays this deck the first person who can do who can cast Devastation for 100 I have a special prize for you if you catch it on you gotta catch it on video or you gotta show it to me 
some kind of way. It could be via Facebook or uploaded on YouTube or wherever. But the first person who plays this deck and casts Devastation for 100, I got something for you. So, um, yeah. As always, I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the subscribers I've been getting lately. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button. Help me out. Help me out. I love I love doing this. I love providing this content for you all. So please help me out. Um, I do giveaways every Friday. I give away FNM codes. Um, I give away stuff randomly to my subscribers. Um, yeah, I, I, I love doing giveaways. I love making the people happy. I love making the community happy. So yeah, make me happy and hit that subscribe button and that like button and comment on the video. So um, I will also be giving away um, some sealed codes uh, coming up here in the next month. Um, you'll be able to use those for tokens for uh, Core 2021. So, um, yeah, if you win one of those, you, you get Core 2021 sealed for free. So, um, yeah, you got, but you got to be subscribed to me to be in the running for it. So, um, as always, you guys are awesome. All of you are great. I appreciate every last one of you. And um, I will see you all next time.